Hello friends. I have been racking my brains this last week to try and figure out what sort of a vlog or video I wanted to make for this week's in-between podcast episode videos. And goodness, oh, this pregnancy uh, has been kind of getting to me this week, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little bit low on sleep. Um, I feel like baby boy is going through a growth spurt, um, which seems to coincide with sleep and being kind of sketchy and pain, <laughs> hip pain and rib cage pain and all of those fun pregnancy things. Um, and then we also had, I had to have a blood test done yesterday. <sighs> Goodness. <laughs> But I really do want to try and stick as much as I can to my schedule and making videos. So it's just going to be a very, very chill vlog today. I'm not going to be doing much. Like I said, I'm kind of tired. I have to do some grocery shopping. But I'm also going to go to the craft store uh, and grab a couple of sewing patterns. And um, I'm going to be looking at some of their fabric to see if I can purchase some fabric for some dresses because oh, you can't see the pile of fabric goodness over there. I'm in the process of sewing two dresses right now and it's actually using up the last of my cotton dressmaking fabric. So I'm in need of more because there's a couple of dresses I really want to make. One of which is look at these pattern pieces over here. <laughs> They're not gonna look like much but it's the Jennifer Lauren Handmade Sorrel Dress, which is just this really sweet, simple um, button front dress. <laughs> I'll pop a picture up here. I really wanna make that, and I'm gonna be modifying it slightly. Um, I've basically just shortened it by about an inch on both the front and the back pieces, just to accommodate the bump. <laughs> but I really wanna make that. However, I don't have the fabric for it, so. We need to hope that Joanne's has something in the clearance section that I like. <laughs> or something that's on a good sale. But anyway, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm planning to do today. Nothing too crazy. Um, just some sewing. And um, I've actually got that whole pile of fabric over there is in need of ironing. So I have to get that done. I might try and do some knitting. I feel like I've been in a little bit of a reading and a knitting slump, like just a little bit. I just haven't had as much energy this week either, which again, lack of sleep never helps. <laughs> and so I feel like a lot of my creative energies have been devoted to sewing, which is amazing. I haven't had much of a sewing bug for quite a while. I've done it in bits and pieces, but I feel like over the last week or two, I've really wanted to make all of the sewing projects, which I, oh, I'm enjoying it so much. It's amazing. I've kind of missed that feeling of wanting to do sewing stuff, so I'm thrilled that that's there. But it has, for whatever reason, meant that I'm just not feeling very inspired by any of my knitting. I have tried to read like four, five different books. I've started like four or five different books and I'm just not really feeling any of them. <laughs> and I'm not sure what it is. I've still been listening to my um, Redwall audiobooks like always. I'm always listening to one if you don't know. I am a massive, massive Redwall series fan. I just finished listening to Rackety Tam and I'm about to listen to The Long Patrol again for the hundredth time. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. If you have like that one thing, creative thing that you're really into, sometimes it can, I guess, sort of phase out the other things or make them a little bit less appealing. <laughs> but yeah, I am working on my sew faded sweater in bits and pieces. I've got the sleeve started, which is super nice. I think that that was part of what was holding me back is I had to pick up stitches for a sleeve on a sweater. And I think that now that that's done, um, it's a lot of just knitting stockinette. So I'll probably pick that back up. Goodness, I'm definitely editing it all out, but man, I am yawning so much right now. <laughs> my poor eyes, they're watering like crazy. 
Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into some ironing and get that done. The store opens in about 20-30 minutes, so I'll probably head out pretty quickly. I'll take you along with me. We'll do a little bit of a shopping fun thing. And then I might do some journaling today. Um, maybe show off my beautiful, gorgeous... Um, six ring binder journal that I finally found one that I love. Um, I'm not sure if we'll go over it too much in this video or if I will save that for a specific journal with me video. Um, if you didn't watch my most recent podcast episode, I have been so inspired by Ara of Ara Land here on YouTube and she's making me want to do all of the art and journaling such things. <laughs> but Anyway, I'm blathering and sleepy and bleary-eyed, so let's do some ironing and then we'll head to the store. <laughs> Like I said at the beginning, this has been a very simple, nothing too crazy happening vlog. I have a couple of things to show you. I got a package. Um, this is our baby shower is this weekend. And so we've been getting different packages and bundles and things delivered to our house for the baby. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you really quickly what I got from Julian. Um, I got another ball of the Brene blanket yarn in... Is it smoky green? Smoky green. Um, I have a crochet blanket that I'm working on. It's been sitting waiting. It just needs like one more ball's worth of yarn. And um, so I was able to get it with a 50% off coupon. So that was lovely. And then I got three patterns. Um, I couldn't find any fabric that was kind of inexpensive enough to do what I wanted to do. But I think I'm gonna do a order online, pick up in store order, and there's a different coupon I can use and there's some beautiful fabric that I would love to get. But let me show you the patterns that I picked up. I got a couple of children's patterns. I picked up McCall's 6304, which is this one. I got it mainly because of this little romper outfit here. It has been quite aggravating. <laughs> to find how woefully lacking sewing patterns are for little boys. Um, there's enough to 
drown a cat of little girls sewing patterns, but hardly any of little boys sewing patterns. So I wanted to get a little simple romper sort of a pattern because then I can use any sort of gender neutral or boyish cotton um, fabric scraps that I have to make our baby some little rompers. And the other one I got, um, <laughs> It's not one I'll be using for quite some time, but I saw it and just fell in love with it. And it is McCall's 6913, and it is this adorable little, like, sailor collar style dress. And it's precisely the type of dress that I would want to dress any potential daughters of mine in. So I thought, well, I'm in the childbearing years. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And then the last one that I picked up is McCall 7974. And I grabbed this one because I saw a video by Janelle of Rosary Apparel and she made a gorgeous version of this um, of this dress. And I will link her video down below. It was super fun to watch. <laughs> And I just kind of fell in love with it, and I realized that it would work well, it'll still work for breastfeeding and whatnot. I'm thinking particularly this version right here. It won't work well while I am pregnant, but I wanted to have it on hand because I can make it once the baby's born. And then it has buttons on the front, so it's easy access for breastfeeding and whatnot. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And then, yeah, like I said, I didn't actually end up buying any fabric, but I think I'm going to do um, a purchase online use this coupon so I can get some fabric but anyway the last thing I'm gonna, it's gonna be crinkly let me do this really quick okay that's what I kind of thought it was gonna be I'm so excited about this I'm planning to do cloth diapers for our baby and somebody very very kindly purchased us several of the cloth diaper inserts that we will need for it <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to have a baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see how these cloth diapers work. Um, my family used cloth diapers a lot when I was growing up, so I'm very experienced with using them, and I'm just so excited to be able to use them for our baby. But anyway, I know most people aren't particularly interested in baby or children things. <laughs> um, yeah, what else am I going to do today? I ended up working for several hours and I took a nap and had a snack and I'm just still <laughs> so tired. Um, it's making it quite difficult. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a little bit of sewing. Work kind of, uh, it got to me a little bit. Also, I don't know if you can hear the Amazon truck backing up outside. <laughs> But anyway, I need to do something creative and crafty and I saw that there is another episode of This Drafty House by Lindsay, I believe that's her name. She runs um, Hello Stella Hand Dyed Yarn Company. Oh gosh, I got some sort of dust in my eyes or something. So I think I'm gonna sit and chill and maybe knit for just a little bit. Um, Mike is supposed to be home in about 15-20 minutes, so and then I'll need to do some stuff with supper, but goodness, I just want to like sit, <laughs> do nothing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of knitting, just a little bit. And again, I don't know how much I'll be able to check in with you later. Again, I don't really film. Um, when Mike is around, it just makes me, or I don't talk. <laughs> it makes me a little shy or uncomfortable to do it while he's here. So um, thank you for watching this video. I know it's a little bit of an odd one, um, but yeah, it's fun to kind of take you along and share my shenanigans with you. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Bye!